Start killing everybody. I knew there was no time left. Hell, they'd already shot those two in the van 20 miles back. They were animals. They were just itching to pull another trigger. I had to go in. I would have had them too. I would have had them cold. I was getting into position. I had the wall to my back. And I had a clear shot of the perps right across the candy section. All I had to do was shift out left from my cover and no one would get caught in any crossfire. I took two of those bastards out with me, but the others... They got the safe open. And then they shot and killed all 11 hostages with a shotgun. God damn their souls. God damn their souls. a sec. What's wrong, girl? You lost or something? Yeah. You need a ride somewhere? <laughs> what are you looking at? Like my good luck charm? <laughs> I could show you something else you'd like a lot more. <laughs> yeah, okay, you think about it. I'll be here when you get back. It's my duty to stop them. It's my fault. It shouldn't have happened this way. I need this, Sarah. I need this. I don't think I can. I know. I'm sorry.
baby. You come back to see me? Yeah. yeah. Shit, see, see you, you in hell! hell. Oh. Hello. Oh. Oh. You got you got lots of blood. Oh. She she seemed very angry with you. She she seems angry a lot. He, he says that she's hiding something. Oh. Oh. I'm not supposed to play with knives. They say bad things happen. <laughs> Stop it! Leave me alone. You're gonna wake him. You know what happens when he comes. Just, just tell us how she does it. How she stops the voices. Please, please, before he comes, oh, oh boy, I wish you could tell me, he doesn't like secrets, oh, you're gonna make me go away and I don't want to go away. <laughs> Secrets. We got lots of secrets. Some say all the secrets are kept in the heart. Let's find out. <laughs> I know, man. That's what I've been trying to tell you. 
This is younger generation. You know what? I blame the educational system. Man, they don't teach kids shit these days. You know what? When I was his age, I was 60 seconds. In, on, and down the block. There was no alarms, no scratches, nothing. Time's up, hot shot. You got it yet? Oh, yeah. Hmm. What do we got here? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> man, where'd that come from? <laughs> hey, hey, man, you can't do that. Why the hell not? Because it's a dog. You can't shoot a dog. Oh, shit, I can't. Uh, Eight dog. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, man? Don't shoot him. Man, go. No, not until you put that gun away. Are you fucking kidding me? Man, it's a fucking dog, yo. I'm waiting, rat. Man, fine, just fucking go. Look, don't worry. I'm great with dogs. Fucking dog. Now can I shoot him? What's up, Uncle? What's up, the dog? Came with the car. Cute, ain't he? You want him? Cool. $50 says he loses a finger. Make it a hundred. Come on, that's nice. Ch -ch -ch -ch. <laughs> Gonna bite your ass, boy. That's cool. Calm down. That's my boy. <laughs> you cheated. <laughs> man, we ain't got to cheat. We could just out thank you. Very fucking funny, man. Hey, Ray. Hey, man, you can pay me next week. Uh, you want me to get started on that car? Hey, you finished your homework? Yeah, most of it. Come on, man, we talked about this. They don't let folks with bad grades up at UCLA. So? It's not like I can afford to go there anyway. <laughs> Look, that might be true, but didn't you get accepted? Yeah. All right, and isn't that where you wanted to go? Y yeah, so? So, I told your mama I'd send you to the best damn college I could get you into. And if they're it, well then, that's where you're gonna go. <laughs> oh, yo, Wh where'd you get all this? Made some moves, got some stuff together. Look, don't worry about it. Oh, and just so you know, this is the last car you're gonna strip, and that's final. You sure about all this? <laughs> what do you mean, am I sure? Come on, Parnell. Man, this is for you. You need to do something with your life, okay? I don't want you hanging out here, falling into the same bull crap I fell into. Man, with this money right here, you can do it right. All the way. So what's up, man? Aren't you excited? You ain't gonna tell me what a great uncle I am? I'm excited. Yo, thanks. You just got your ticket out of the ghetto. Don't blow it. Plus, I'm charging you interest on this loan, you hear oh, me? Oh, what? <laughs> what? You mean what? Oh, that's what family's for, right? <laughs> My family. Oh, Get man, that baby. is fucked up, dog. Hell yeah, I'll tell them right now. <laughs> oh, man, you ain't even gonna believe what I'm seeing right now. He's dead. But he's, he's my father and we have some unresolved issues, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Well, you came to the right place. You know, I always thought that ghosts were, you know, supposed to be scary. <laughs> yeah, well, some can be. 
It's all about karma. A bad spirit, I mean a really evil spirit, can latch onto your soul and drag you into the darkness. You don't come back from that. Well, how do you know how to avoid the bad ones? I wouldn't worry about it. The average person can't even make contact unless there's some sort of spiritual connection. You know, wife, daughter, son, father, whatever. Mm. But, um, even the gifted, the ones who draw spirits to them, even they need some sort of connection. A pure heart won't draw a sinner, and an evil heart won't draw a saint. Oh. And which one are you? Oh. Oh. What, and spoil the surprise? You just wait right there, darling. Sarah, oh. would you get in here and give me a hand already? I'll say one thing. You may not be much of a conversationalist, but you sure can't move my merchandise. People can really sense it when you're the real thing, don't you think? They can just see it, just like I can. Hell, I saw it the very first time I laid eyes on you right there on that doorstep. I knew you had some kind of gift. So, um, what happened? Last week when you disappeared again? Did you see something? Someone? Sarah, I never asked you for anything. I gave you a job and a place to live, and you can come and go as you please, right? I never asked you any questions about where you're going or what you're doing. I know you had enough of that at the foster homes. But Sarah, you have a gift. You can do it. You can make contact. Now, that is something that I have been trying to do my entire life, and I have just about given up. But Sarah, I gotta know. What does it feel like? You promised you wouldn't ask me about... I know I promised, but... I mean, God, Sarah, you must be the only woman in this entire state that doesn't want to gossip with me. I'm sorry. I just don't. Sarah, wait! Sarah! Parnell?
Going somewhere. Oh, no. Where you are now? Get your shit. Trey wants to meet. All right. Hey, give me a minute. Nah. We gonna wait in here. Hey, whatever. Swim handcuffed in a shark's pool? Is it me? Is it my fault they got me? Really? Get caught and wanna kill me? Really? Y'all don't understand. You got prints from the wrong hand. Seen the wrong man. Was it me with the money, the raps, the bill sacks, big grin with the gold cap? Can you feel me? Cause I ride like a ghost. From LA to Long Beach on the coast. And I ain't up for the wrong thug. Pointing fingers at a brother, get your neck hung. And it's a problem when it's your city, your block, your turf, your hood. Everybody looking over your shoulders, no good. Busters, backstabbers, and wannabes. But I'm strapped, so you better be a true G. Cause I'm a rider and a roller. I gotta handle my business like a soldier. Never call slipping, I cause confusion. Come on, man. What? Cut the bullshit. What you think I'm packing? Come on, man. It's me. Hey, 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 hey. It's cool. There you go. Does that little shit count? What's up, fellas? Have a seat. Recognize this motherfucker. No, man. What about you, G? You seen him before? You know, what's up, Trey? Oh, you ain't heard? Two masked motherfuckers jacked the castle. Got us for a hundred grand. Oh, shit. And this piece of shit was in charge of the motherfucker. Didn't see nothing on them niggas but tattoos. Now, I gotta play 20 questions with all my people to see who's been naughty and who's been nice. Where were you Thursday night? Me? Shit, I don't know, man. That was like two days ago. Think. It's kind of important. OK, um, I, I, think, I think I was out with Charlene. Yeah, we were, we were out the whole night. Charlene, the chick from the club. Little booty call going on? Yeah. Problem is, we talked to Charlene. She said she was at her mom's crib Thursday. Hadn't seen you all night. So what's up, Cal? Uh, well, you know, it must be the other day I'm thinking about. <laughs> I told you, man, I don't remember. Anyway, if, 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 if I wasn't with Charlene, then um, I must have been at the shop. Working on that new GTO we cop last shop. week. Working. Why is it that I don't believe you, Cal? You studying like a bitch caught fucking around on a man. Is that it? Have you been fucking around on me? No, man. Then why are you lying? I'm not lying. I, I just forgot. <laughs> I know you, Cal. You's a smart motherfucker. You don't forget shit. Trey, I didn't take your money. No? Well, you lying about something. Because, see, we never talked to Charlene. What? Yeah. I just wanted to see how long you wanted to stick with that little story of yours. See, I told you, dog. Man, I didn't take the money. 
So, whose money was it that you and your nephew were swimming in last night? What? 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 Nigga, what's wrong with your ears? I said the money Red saw y'all tossing like confetti. Whose was it? Because it damn sure sounds like mine. Hey man, Trey, that ain't what you think. And I guess your nephew, he was working at the shop too. Parnell? Hey man, what has he got to do with this? He don't know shit. Are you right about that? He doesn't know enough to cover his tattoos before he robs a crack house. Oh, but he does now. Trey? What'd you do, man? Can't give a pass on something like this. Not to young blood. Not even to you, Cal. You broke my heart, my brother. And now, I got to break yours. Never gave you up, Cal. Not even to the end. <laughs> that kid had heart. Oh, fuck you! Get off me! See where he gets you from. Stand his ass up. Slow ass down. That shit again. Man, he was just a kid. He was a good kid. He had a chance, man. Why would he fuck that up? Who knows? Everybody's got their reasons. You know, it's one thing I learned up in this game. It's no matter how well you think you know somebody, everybody, everybody's got a secret. <laughs> Tell me your secret, Cal. Tell me where my money is. I told you, man. I ain't got your money. God damn it, Cal, don't make me do this. Then believe me! I can't! You can, man! Yeah, can. All you gotta do is let me explain you gotta do it! What the fuck? Uh. Damn it, Cal. I love you like a brother. But I swear, if you don't tell me where my money is, I'll put holes in you. Starting with this one right here. Look, fuck this bullshit, Trey. Let me do his ass. Right here, right now. No. This is my deal. I owe him that much. Last chance. Fuck you. What the fuck? Check this shit out. You got the gun. Fuck. Let him go. Fuck are you? You okay? Did you hear what I said to you? Let him go now. Oh, so it's like that now. And you done busted into my shop. You done broke my boy's nose over here. And now you think you're running things. Now. No. I've been running with Yusef for over 10 years. You're gonna kill him over a hundred grand he didn't even take. What the fuck do you, what do you know about it? Yeah, what do you know about it? And who the hell are you anyway? You're asking me? You're asking me, you son of a... Get the gun! 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 Get the g
save my ass and you almost get me killed. Just wanted to make sure one of us could use that ticket out the ghetto. What? Maybe we shouldn't be doing this. What if, what if he wants her too? We can take care of him. She is the answer. She has the key to freedom, to salvation. Shit, where is he? Man, no sign of him or the girl. And he fucked up my ignition, too. And he knows that we'll be right on his ass. Probably boosting another ride and halfway to the crib. Yeah. You and Red go watch his place. I'm going to put the word out. I'll meet you there. Hey, uh, what about? I'm not worried about the Jamaicans. You just find my money. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this? How the hell did you? Great. She's asleep. This day get any worse. What the? Hey, come on, girl. Who are you? How do you know Parnell? You better tell me what the hell's going on. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to ask you a question, okay? Just calm down. Oh! Come here, where do you think you're going? Damn it, girl! You see what you got me out here doing? Listen, hey, I'm not gonna hurt you, all right? Yeah, well, you already did. Look, I just want to know how you know Parnell and why the hell you saved my life today. I don't. No one can know the things that you know about Parnell without knowing him. Nobody. I didn't know him. Not while he was alive. Don't hit me. And what the hell you mean when he was alive? What, you see dead people now? Something like that. Get the fuck out of here. Shit. Come on. We gotta get out. Trey's got the little G's on the hunt for us. You just keep your head down. We'll be all right. He loved you. What? Who? Parnell. Oh, now you know him. No. That's why he came to me. He said he needed to keep you safe. He said he owed you his life. So, uh, now that we're safe, what, has he gone into the tunnel of light or something? Okay, I'm talking to myself. She sees ghosts, and I'm talking to myself. Perfect. <laughs> Jesus! You know, you really need to stop doing that. You're not talking to dead folks, are you? No, I'm not talking to dead people. Just echoes. Good. I don't think I can handle that shit right now. Hey, I found a t-shirt in the back and it was a soda. Only one. Yeah, 
good for you. Fine. Look, come on. We're both knee deep in this shit together. The least you can do is tell me what's going on. You know, I don't know what he was to you, but he was my nephew, and he was a good kid. So if you have something to say, get it. Why did Parnell come to you? I don't know. He just came. No, but I mean, why you? I don't know. Come on, you don't have an idea? I said I don't know. Okay, just... Okay, what's an echo? An echo is like an aftershock. Once a spirit leaves, certain things are left behind. What kind of things? Memories, feelings, skills they once knew. Skills? What do you mean by skills? Skills, you know, things that they love to do. I can build a boat from scratch even though I've never been on a boat. I can speak four different languages that I've never even studied. And I know 14 different ways to kill a man with a spoon. A spoon? Come on, where the hell you get that from? Some man in Utah. Survivalist training camp. Jesus. What about Parnell? I mean, is he gone? No, he's not gone. His spirit's weak, though. But I can feel him. He's still holding on. Oh, but why? I mean, I'm safe now. Why is he still trying to... Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe you're not as safe as you think. Running costs money, and I gotta get mine. Look, you just sit tight. You wanna get my money? I'll be right back. I don't think so. Good luck. Hey! Now you go get your money! Hey, what are you doing? Come on, where are you going? Do you know where you are? Do I know where I am? Yeah, you can't go walking around here. I could take care of myself. All right, look, you got me there. But wait, 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 wait. Just wait a minute, okay? Wait till I go get my money, and then I'll take you anywhere you want to go. I promise. You're fine, and I'm fine. Why do you care if I stick around? Come on! Hey! Sorry. Look, this may happen to you every day, all right? But to me, you know, this ghost shit is starting to freak me out. Well, you know what? You'll get over it. That's the thing. I don't want to get over it. That kid gave me a second chance and a second life. I can't just ignore that. I mean, hell, if a gun-toting white girl in the hood ain't a sign, I don't know what is. Plus, you said that Parnell is still hanging around. So maybe there's something he still wants me to see. So please, just, man, just wait a minute and let my nephew show me what he's trying to show me. Okay, look, here. What's that? It's my good luck charm. It's a key to a 1964 Chevy Impala. The only car I legally owned, and I only drove it once. 
Why only one? I got locked up the day I bought it for grand theft. Look, the bills were piling up, and I told Parnell to sell it so we can keep the shop open. But it was hard for him. He loved this car. I've been out of jail ever since. I got a new kind of luck now. Just please wait for me. Come on. Please. You got five minutes. Yes. That's all I need. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Fuck who it is, man. Sounds like someone's squeezing his head. Now I know you're motherfucking crazy, man. Fuck what you just said. Look, I'm gonna take a piss. You listen to whoever you want. Well, if that's true, where the hell is he? Because I ain't seen him. Let's think about that for a moment. Do you think that maybe, just maybe, it might be because your fucking car is fucking parked right across the street from his fucking front door? Now, if you see some shit like that, would you roll up here? So why don't you move this piece of shit down the road so maybe we can do this? And where the fuck is Red? We gotta get out.
Hey, miss, can I help you? David, I need to find David. No, you can't come this no, way. I have to know what happened. Speak to my husband, please. Okay, okay, I got it. Okay. No, I'm just a friend. You're gonna have to take this elsewhere. No problem. Hey, calm down. Please, I need to see Dave. Yeah, yeah, we'll see David later. Excuse me, excuse me. Um, do you have anyone on this floor named Vieira? Vieira? Let me see. Are you related to Mrs. Vieira? Not exactly. She died in childbirth. Yes, only 10 minutes ago. Is the baby all right? He's perfectly fine. The boy? May I see him? Just down the hall, room 213. He's with his father. Thanks. Did you have a nice nap? Sorry, that usually happens when you know. Well. I see they uh, fixed your leg up pretty good. Yeah, they asked me if I was a nurse because the tourniquet was so good. Really? No, not really. <laughs> But it was a good one. Oh, yeah. I see they saved your sense of humor, too. Look at that. Comes with a smile, huh? Yeah, I bet you that costs a fortune. Shut up. Well, it looks good on you. 
should do it more often. <sighs> we probably should get going, huh? Yeah, we should. almost had to wait for the next one. Trey, we had a fighting chance. Now we just jumped two cops. Man, we're in deep shit. They'll be okay. That don't matter. You, they might let go, but me, no, they gonna hang me. Hey. What? Remember when you asked me how this all got started with the ghosts? Yeah. I'll tell you. If you just shut up. When I was young, my mother was murdered. The guy, he'd been laid off from work or something and he came back with a gun and just started shooting. I don't think she even knew the guy. It's the wrong place, it's the wrong time, you know? 
Anyway, a few months later was the first time it happened. I was at school and I heard this voice speaking to me and I looked up and there was this man. Something wasn't right about him. I couldn't put my finger on it, but he just, he looked really, really sad. I remember this cold feeling that ran through my body and I wanted to run, but I couldn't. I tried. I couldn't move. My mind just kept thinking, what if mom had sent him? So we made contact and then he told me his wish. What did he want? His wife was a teacher at my school and he said that he never got the chance to tell her that he loved her before he passed. So what did you do? I did it for him. What do you mean you did it for him? But you told your teacher you loved her? I guess you can say he really did all the talking. Through you? Yes. And then he kissed her. You're kidding me. You, you kissed your teacher on the mouth? I got transferred to another school after that. <laughs> Why did they come to you? My friend Julia says it's because I have a wandering spirit. And they're wandering spirits too. They contact me so that they can finish their unfinished business in this world and move on. They do it through me. And you can't stop it? I tried. I even checked myself in over at Whitmore. Whitmore? Do you mean that nut house up in the valley? We prefer the term mental health facility. Yeah. And they couldn't help you? They tried. Everything. From drugs to therapy, but they were trying to cure something that they, they couldn't even understand. You know, I had a cousin that used to work up there. And he said, uh, didn't somebody, like, kill a bunch of people or something like that? It wasn't you, was it? No. That happened a few weeks after I'd left. Seven people were murdered. Some guy went crazy and escaped. You mean more crazy? Did they ever catch him? I don't know. So, I mean, after you help all these people, or spirits, what about you? I mean, when do you get to move on? We should get out of here. Hey, put that on. Are you serious? Yeah, well, it works in the movies. Come on. More cops. Buddy. Oh, fuck. Now look, all I want to know, where's Strandia? Come on, man, what's the plan? I know they told you. Oh, motherfucker. Why are you fucking with me, man? I never did shit to you. You oh. did. We don't have time for this. All right. Let's cut to me, okay? You got the nerve to say you ain't never done nothing to me before? It wasn't me, man. What? Dion did all that shit on his own, man. I wasn't even there. He 
He wasn't even supposed to smoke his ass. Just bring him in. Then why the hell did he then? That homie said he pulled a gat on his ass. That's bullshit. He ain't got no gun. But I do. Drop it on the table. Yeah, we got some unfinished business. dreams, but they're about to get worse. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Now that we all awake, let's have us a little talk. What's the word? Nah, won't be cool for a while. Too many pigs out. And we'll just have to sit here and hope nobody dies. Lock that door. So what are we gonna do with him? Don't know yet. What do you say, Cal? You gonna tell me where my money is? Man, I already told you. I don't have your money. Then what were you digging up out there in the field? Your record collection? It's my money. Bullshit. Red said he saw you and Parnell tossing that shit up in the air like confetti. He said it had to be at least 100 grand you was playing with. 125. Really? Now, where does a petty-ass, small-time carjacker like you get that kind of role? I sold my shop. What? Body shop. I sold it to the Ortiz brothers last Thursday night. Man, it's in their hood anyway. 125 cash. They get the shop, tools, everything. You good, Blip. But question, how do you plan to strip cars if you ain't got a shop? I quit. You quit? Yeah, man, I quit. I, I want out. Look, the only reason I sold the shop was so I could send Parnell to college. Man, it ain't no future in this shit. Ain't no future crossing me either. It's true. Just thought I should take the chance. Do the right thing for once. If you don't believe me, I got the bill of sale in my back pocket. Check it out. I mean, that's why I was so nervous at the warehouse. I thought you found out what was up. And maybe you were pissed at me because I wanted out. This looks legit. Yo, this is bullshit, Trey. Even if his ass was thinking about quitting, maybe, just maybe, he hit the council because he knew he was gonna jump town. Hey man, fuck you, Dion. Fuck me? No. <laughs> I'm quick saying, and you ain't talking your way out of this shit, partner. Trey, how would I even know when you're making a buy? Oh. Man, I steal cars for you. I have nothing to do with the castle, so I. How would I know when they hit it? I bet it was that little bitch Parnell. His ass was always hanging around the shop sweeping his shit. I bet he overheard us talking. And as soon as the time was right, he tipped off old Uncle Cal. Why didn't you ask any questions? What? That night when you nabbed Parnell, you didn't ask him any questions. You just snuck up behind him and slit his throat. The fuck are you talking about, bitch? And how is it that you say that Parnell had a gun, yet you still somehow managed to cut his throat before he could get away? We only had a witness to say what really happened that night. But you didn't bring Red, did you? Why was that? It's what you always did. But for some reason, you chose not to. He chose not to because he had something he needed to hide. He had a secret. You would expose Trey once you started asking the right questions. Who had the information? Who had the access? And who had the balls to cross Big Tracy Brown? Huh, Wait. is that what you said? No. I'm the only man in LA who has the balls to cross Bitch, Big Tracy Brown. Bitch, you better shut Brown. up right motherfucking now. I, I shut, shut up too goddamn long. Now, now they're, they're gonna, gonna hear it. it. Parnell took the money. But Cal had nothing to do with it. Dion set it up, Trey. He's the one that's 
got your money. Bitch, what the fuck are you doing? The fuck you think, man? This bitch lying on me to save her own ass. She ain't saying shit but what Cal told her to say. Cal told me about the Cadillac that's coming through Vegas next week with a 200 G stash under the floorboard. How the fuck she know about the caddy, huh? Only three niggas supposed to know about that shit, motherfucker. Me, you, and the nigga that's driving. He said that once we hit that car, your ass would be in deep with the Jamaicans, and after they took you out, he'd be running things. Motherfucker! You was gonna try to take me out? Damn it, Trey, don't make me do this. Oh, now you're gonna shoot me. I will. First you robbed my ass, and now you're gonna shoot me. Now suck on that for a while. Oh God, I'm, I'm so, so sorry. sorry. I never meant for this to happen. I know I let you down. You have never let me down. Never. Forgives me. I know. I'm ready. You are too. ass bitch to the end. God damn it. Okay, I have just about enough of this shit. Now, I don't know what's going on between you and Dion. And right now, I just don't give a damn. But this shifty motherfucker got to go. And since I declared war on your ass, well, I guess you got to go too. Sorry, Cal. What's the brother gonna do? He die real quick if he doesn't drop those guns. What, now you gonna shoot me? Yeah, a lot better than he did. kill his nephew because you think he stole some money. I've only known this man for a few hours, but I can already tell you, he's not the man you're looking for. He may have a dishonest job, but he's got an honest soul. Now, I'll spare your life on one condition. You spare his. Cool? Yeah, we cool. Good. Then it seems the only score to settle is between you two. Since you're not shot, well, that gives you an unfair advantage. So, What's the brother gonna do?
You got lots of blood too. Does this hurt when I do this? Oh. You. Why do you have to be so mean? I'm gonna get someone who's really mean. Oh. Oh. Dr. Samuel Scheinberg. He was a surgeon. He was fascinated by pain thresholds. He wanted to see how long his patients would last without any anesthesia. The longest was 20 minutes. How long will you last? I swear you're gonna be the death of me. The way you keep disappearing and then showing up with all sorts of cuts and bruises. It's getting so bad that I'm afraid to turn the news on at night because I just might hear some story about how they found you somewhere. I'm sorry, you have to worry. I wish I could help it. What was that? Oh, nothing. Well, at least you brought a man home this time. Even if he's a little banged up. Your bath is ready, and I'm going to make you some of my famous chicken soup. Thank you. You're welcome.
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I, I tried to stop him, but he's, he's so very strong. Please, untie me before he gets back. No, no. I, I, I couldn't do that. He, he, he wouldn't like that at all. Not at all. Um, unless... Unless what? Unless you could tell me. Tell me how you do it. <coughs> how I... Why do I? How you stop the voices. We, we, we just want to stop the voices. <gasps> what voices? Can't you hear them? No. They always come. They insist, they demand with their scary stories. We just, we just want them to go away. Can, can you make them go away? Please. You, you have to know. You have to tell me. <laughs> we, we saw you, you know. We saw you in the, in the safe place. In the nice, safe place. Whitmore? Oh my God. Dr. Kendall said that you were special. He said that you could make the voices stop. But he wouldn't tell us how to do it. He wouldn't tell us. So he came back and he made Dr. Kendall very sad. He always makes people sad. He told me what to do. He, he said I should hurt them. So you would tell him, and I don't want to hurt them, but he said I have to hurt them, and then he said I have to do it to you, and then he said everybody had to make me do it, but I don't want to do it. I don't want to. Listen, listen, I can help you. I can tell you what you want to know. You can? I can make the voices stop it. You gotta let me down. Yeah? I can tell you. No, 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 I can't do that. That's a bad thing. No, it's okay. No, I know what'll happen. You know, I'll get close to you, and then you'll say bad, naughty, awful things to me. No! No, I can't. No. I The Reflection Man says that you are a friend. The Reflection Man says that you are salvation. But he says no. The reflection man. Who, who's there? No. No. You can't go. Don't go. You have to stay. You have to help us. Oh, oh no. He's coming. Please. He's coming. <laughs> you little worm can't you do anything right. Rosanna Martinez smothered 17 newborn babies with a diaper before they caught her. She was a nurse. Jason, huh? 
trapped 24 migrant workers in a cargo truck and drove it into the East River. Listening to them claw at the metal. Listening to them drowning. How do I know? Because I can see it. They come and they bring their nightmares with them. But now, I don't see them doing these things. I see me doing them. Their memories are my memories. Their sins are my sins. And I am drowning in them. But you, you have the answer. You can make them stop. Make them go away. One way. Or another. You are going to tell me how. Mom, I'm so sorry. I'll never let you go again. Shh. Sarah, you can't stay with me now. You have to go back. Sarah, listen. It's not your fault. Sarah, look at me. Do you understand? It was my time. It's not your fault. You have to let me go. You have to go back. Sarah. There's one more thing you have to see before you go.
somebody help me. Help me. Come on, Snare, please. Come on. Yes, yes, that's it, that's it. That's it. That's my girl. That's my girl. You fight, girl. Hey. Welcome back. There you are. I thought you'd never be done. Come on, I didn't take that long. Tell you the truth, uh, I wouldn't mind if you took a few more years. I know, I feel the same way. But a woman once told me that there's a whole lot of life out there to live. You just, you gotta get out there and live it. Hmm. Who said that? Your mom? No. You did. Oh, God. I'm going to miss you so much. Now, you make sure you call me when you get to wherever it is you're going, OK? I will. Thank you for everything. You're welcome. So, how are you gonna travel? I don't know. Cal said he knew a guy who had a car. So... <sighs> oh my God. Is that your car? It is now. This is the same car? Same one. I knew the guy who bought it from me. So I went over there this morning and picked it up. Picked it up? You didn't? No. Come on. This is the first and second car I've ever legally owned. It's a really nice car. Yeah. You know that kid really loved this car? He used to bust this huge grin every time he saw it. You know, I just hope he can see it now. He can. He can, Cal. Yeah. I guess you'll be needing this. No, no. You keep it. We'll make our own luck. What's wrong? Do you see something? No, just me. Just me.
figure you could pull a trick. I ain't talking, G. Get worse. <gasps> 